optimistic Chris. First day, Atlantic Ocean. Last day, Pacific Ocean. Here I go, 3,500 miles plus, plus my friends. <laughs> Hello. Join me along the way on Soulmate Cyclists. Thank you. <laughs> me and my bike. This is going to be fun. Well, that was a number one first time for me. I'm uh, riding my bike up towards Ochoco Pass, I believe it is. And um, about a mile back down the road, a truck is coming the other way and starts to slow down uh, big time and comes to a stop just next to me. And so I thought, well, okay, I'll pull over too. So I just stopped my bike and a lady leans forward and she goes, are you optimistic, Chris? Yeah, I'm optimistic, Chris. She goes, I'm Anne, your warm showers host for tonight. <laughs> she and her friend were headed out into the back country here to do some hiking today. And she's like, yeah, the only way to get from your place last night from the hostel to my place is along this road. So I figured sooner or later we'd run into you. How cool is that? So I'm headed into town. I'm going to swing by the library, update some more videos, and then Anne will give me a text when she's home, done with her day of playing, and we will get together and I'm sure have an absolutely delightful evening. I love warm showers. Here is the remnants of a fire that ran through here last summer. You can see the green trees that survived, even the real big ones back in there. But the young ones, the ones where it just got too hot, absolutely fried. Yabba dabba do, I made it to the top of the summit of Ochoco Pass. Ochoco Pass. 4,720 feet. That was quite the climb. Well, I slept really great last night, but this goes down as my most unusual sleeping place. That is for sure. I slept on the top bunk in the sauna. How cool was that? It was so dark, toasty and warm, and I slept beautifully. Thank you to Anne and Marcel and the young ladies, my warm showers hosts. Awesome. I'm headed west out of Prineville, Oregon on uh, the O'Neill Highway and I'm traveling through this flat valley, lots of cattle, water flowing through the ditches and off in the distance fields are being watered just a beautiful, beautiful place to be riding. How lucky am I? You can see here that at one time, local farmers moved water down the valley on this trestle, I'm gonna call it. And I know because I've turned around and come back to photograph this, it goes all the way around the corner here and on up the valley. How cool is that? No longer in use. Well, 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 I've got myself a rainy morning here. Um, things are a little damp. It has stopped raining, but of course now everything is falling down off of the trees. Um, today is my big day, so to speak. Today I ride my bike up and over Mackenzie Pass. Um, everyone I've talked to kind of gives me an eye roll like, Ooh, better watch out for Mackenzie. So, anyway, um, I believe it has stopped raining or it's pretty close to stopping. Um, I've got to now pack up all my wet gear, get loaded up, and um, hit the trail. The bike's looking a little damp, but that'll soon dry off. Okay, 
I'll see you on the way up to the pass. See that little bit of plastic hanging out on the end there? That's what causes this in the middle of my tent. That was dumb. I need to pay more attention to that. That little three inches right there, water was landing on top of it and rolling towards the middle. Uh. Well, I'm all packed up. It's still raining just a little bit, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to get wet from the inside out or the outside in. I am not at the top yet. I'm coming through a very big burn area, but I think I'm getting closer. It is raining. Well, I don't believe I'm at the top, but I am at a very interesting point. This is called Breezy Point, and it is an overlook of a massive lava flow that covers some 20 square miles. But the really remarkable thing about this is that it is only about 1,500 years old, which is really, really young in geological terms. It's so young that not much is growing out there yet. Pretty remarkable. It has stopped raining. I don't think I'm at the top. I think I've got a little ways to go. I will be back. This is really quite cool. This is the front edge of that lava flow. And you can see it's just a jumble of rocks as it's cooled. And to me, it just reminds me of sort of like the a terminal moraine of a glacier and a glacier as it melts it drops all its rocks in a very obvious line and here as this lava field has flowed across the land and as it's cooled it leaves behind this wall of jumbled rocks I touched some of the rocks, 1,500 years old. It's probably the youngest rocks I've ever touched. In that direction, 7,802 feet above sea level is Mount Washington. And the view today, eh, it's not gonna happen today. Mackenzie Pass, you can eat my dust. Actually, really, really, really wasn't quite that bad. The lava flows up there were spectacular. The scenery was a little fogged in. There's not much you could see. Um, it rained a tiny bit, but there wasn't a lot of wind, which is nice. And I threw on an extra layer just to keep me warm on the downhill side here. I still have my bike shorts on, hands are a little chilly, but what I'm hoping for more than anything else is that when I get to the campground tonight, that the sun comes out and I can dry everything out. That would make optimistic Chris a very happy boy. Check in in a bit. Well, this is interesting and slightly dangerous. I don't think I've ever been in fog this thick before. I would say my visibility is about 25 yards. I do have my red light on my helmet and I did just stop and pull over and I've got my white light on my finger so I can point that in any direction that I want. But this is pea soup. It's pretty foggy. 
A little bit dangerous, I'm afraid. I'm now down to 3,000 feet and most of the mist has disappeared. I certainly feel a lot safer now than I did before. All we need now is the sun. Come on, sun. The Mackenzie River. If you like what you have seen here today, join me again on my ride across America at Soulmate Cyclists, where I post almost daily on Facebook and Instagram, and then these weekly videos on YouTube. Stick around to see my reacquaintance with my old friend Miles. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to share and ring the bell. Be well and be safe, my friends.